Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Vox Markets for Wednesday the 20th of October. Starting off with uh, Avacta, which um, makes for a decent viewing at the moment. We've broken that line of resistance there from June. That was around the uh, £1.20 level. Uh, nice consolidation either side of the 50-day line around 122 and uh, holding above that. The view at this stage is that we should uh, hit, head towards the top of that broadening uh, triangle from July up towards the £1.50 level, and that could be seen as soon as the end of next month. Uh, nice RSI bounce there as well off the uh, neutral 50 level to add to the positive recovery picture there, or potential recovery picture there at Avacta. Stock which has uh, been in the doghouse for quite a while, I think since the last placing, and is uh, bid stack. But it uh, looks like uh, after three or four months of um, tre uh, trekking sideways and making new lows, the shares are actually ready to bounce. So we had a gap down earlier this month. We've had a gap higher today. So that uh, island bear trap island reversal looking rather healthy. We've also got um, bullish divergence as well, lower October low versus uh, September. But the shares of now pushed higher. Uh, end of day close above the 50-day line at 1.85 pence should be enough to get the shares on the road to a move as high as 2.6 pence perhaps by the end of the year or maybe even by the end of next month if we're lucky and uh, upside valid while we hold above the floor of the gap at 1.7. So above that sort of area looking for recovery here after the bear trap gap reversal which is uh, normally a reliable setup. On to Cloud Coco, which um, apart from the slightly amusing name, is also in recovery mode. Uh, Golden Cross to start the week for the shares between the 50 and 200 day moving averages. And about 1.5, looking for 2.1 at the top of the rising trend channel there from back in November. That could be hit, the upside hit, perhaps as soon as the end of next month. Stock that doesn't get much airtime here, but or anywhere actually, is uh, Cyber. But this looks as though it's just uh, trying to break above that resistance line there from May. That was around the 2.1 pence level. So a weekly close above that. We could be on to fresh target here up to 2.7 pence, the falling 200-day moving average. Uh, shares have been on the back foot for most of the year. And uh, perhaps uh, now the uh, churn has been finally chewed up. Stock that I don't normally look at uh, at all on the Bulletin Board Heroes is... Uh, Centrica, but with the uh, the ripoff in the uh, gas uh, industry at the moment, one would assume that uh, if they can get people to actually pay up, uh, they will do well. Here we've got a bull flag here at uh, previous resistance, or just above uh, previous resistance uh, from April or in the upper 50s. And uh, while we're above that broken resistance line there from April at 56 pence, looking for 75 pence at the top of the broadening triangle from last October. And that may be hit as soon as the end of next month. We've also had a golden cross earlier this month between the 50 and 200 day moving averages. So that is looking as though, um, even though uh, things could go pear shaped from here, it does look as though the shares are on their way after, I suppose, underperforming versus the fundamentals in the market. On to more usual fare, we've got Macango next. Here you can see that uh, the shares have broken that uh, August resistance line there, bounced off the floor of the broadening triangle from last October. Uh, that was at uh, 27 pence, let's call it, and uh, above 27 pence, looking towards as high as 50 pence by the end of the year, maybe even more, actually 55 pence by the end of the year. And um, that is uh, obviously a, an ambitious sounding target, but uh, the shares have been on a strong trend for the best part of the year now and uh, that seems to be starting to accelerate good to see it would be good to see a, a weekly close at least above that uh, august resistance line there at 29 pence just to seal the deal a uh, potential deal on the upside great uh, jump in fundamentals uh, from nostra terra today in fact surprising that the shares haven't bounces uh, bounced more than they have so far really up about four percent but we have broken the main trend line there from February. That was around the 0.4 level or the low 0.4s. And at least while we're above the 50-day line at 0.41, looking for a retest of February resistance up to 0.8, maybe by the end of the year on NTOG. A lot of speculation swirling around uh, Pensana at the moment. Um, I won't uh, address any of those directly, but just look at the chart here. Here we've got um, a triangle break, falling wedge break that we had at 79 pence earlier in the month. Uh, that was around um, uh, a week or two ago. 
Uh, we've already hit the 200-day moving average, which is always the first target. That's £1.12. Weekly close above £1.12 would take the shares up to £1.60 uh, by the end of next month. So looking pretty sharp there on Pensana, and, and especially so given that uh, that pullback from March resistance of up two pounds back down to the uh, 65 pence area was uh, really rather cruel and probably uncalled for, one could say. On to Rearbold, uh, which is uh, tr attempting to bounce after its uh, rather calamitous decline since April. Good news here, I suppose, is that we've got bullish divergence uh, here uh, with the uh, last lows that we've had um, at the turn of the month and now. And uh, that higher, much higher RSI trace suggests that we're going to break that line of resistance from April at uh, 0.2 pence and head up and perhaps up to the low 30s even if the shares then fail again after that so above 0.2 up to the 0 0.31 0 0.32 that kind of thing is in order star of the show today probably is synergen phase three is always uh, good news for uh, uh, companies in this space at sort of the the golden uh, phase let's say uh, shares have gapped up after that bear trap that we had below august support that was around uh, the one pound uh, forty level, and uh, we flipped back quite nicely even before today's announcement. Gapped up today through the fifty and two hundred day moving averages, and uh, the the best thing here is that we can get through that uh, one seventy area, that resistance line there from February. Then on an end of day close basis, then we could see the shares actually accelerate over the next two to three months up to as high as two pounds eighty at the top of the rising trend channel from last October. So looking very interesting indeed and uh, at this stage early an end of day close back below the gap and the 50-day line at 155 really uh, delaying the upside scenario so basically above 155 looking for two pounds 80 via one pound 70 on synergen stock which also looks as though it's finally turning around is uh, seed innovations uh, here we've broken out of that falling wedge with a gap which is uh, normally a good signal uh, also sort of double bottom there just around the uh, what's that 6.8 6.9 pence area uh, above that broken resistance line from september at 7.16 or call it 7.15 then we're looking for at least the 50-day line at 7.9 over the next couple of weeks and then maybe up to retesting 8.8 .8 pence at september resistance by the end of next month Finishing off with Alien Metals, uh, which is um, su su suggesting and hoping that the shares would break out of that um, uh, wedge that they were in from back in uh, the spring. Uh, we've gapped through that uh, yesterday, which was very encouraging and uh, looked like we're going to follow through quite strongly today. Initial target 0.95. We're going to weekly close above that. Then we could be looking at the top of that broadening triangle from back in February as high as 1.3 pence by the end of next month so but things looking quite solid there for alien metals also we've got bullish divergence with the lower lows for october but higher rsi trace there so that is suggesting there is decent momentum there even though the gap or in, in addition to the gap to the upside that we've had this week that's it for me today more updates tomorrow